For today's video, we will answer an algebra challenge. So here's the question. Find the value of square root of 6 plus 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 until infinity. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. All right. So given this expression, our goal is to simplify this. And to simplify this, we will use two different methods. The first one is using algebra. And the second one is by using the derived formula involving square roots or radical sign. All right. So let's first use the algebra approach. So first, let x be equal to this crazy expression. Now, take note. This inside part, square root of 6 plus square root of 6 until infinity, this is also x. Therefore, we can replace this with x. So we have x equals square root of 6 plus x. Now, square on both sides to eliminate the square root. So we have x squared equals 6 plus x. Equate this to 0. And we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals to 0. And this quadratic equation, we can factor this out because this negative 6, we can get negative 6 by multiplying negative 3 and 2. And if we add negative 3 and 2, we get negative 1. So the factored form of x squared minus x minus 6 is just x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. So we can replace this by its factored form. Now, since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0 or we have the 0 property. Now, in these two cases, we can also for the values of x. So we have two possible values. The first one, if we add 3 on both sides, we get that the value of x must be equal to 3. And the second equation, if we subtract 2 on both sides, we get that x equals negative 2. But take note. The whole expression right over here must be greater than 0. Therefore, this x equals negative 2 is not part of our solution. So, the only possible solution here is x equals 3. And x must be equal to this expression. So, therefore, this expression is also equal to 3. And that is the answer. So, using algebra, we get that this expression is just... 3. Now, how about the derived formula or what we call the shortcut? Alright, so here are those derived formulas. So take note, we have here a lot of derived formulas involving radical sign, but we are interested in the number 5 because here we have square root of a plus square root of a plus square root of a until infinity and it must be equal to 1 plus square root of 4a plus 1 all over 2. So you can pause this video right over here and analyze those derived formulas involving radical sign. Done? All right, so let's use the number 5 formula. Notice that just replacing 6 by a. So we can replace this a by 6, and if we do that, we get 1 plus square root of 4 times 6 plus 1 all over 2. That is the value of this expression. Now, let's simplify. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1. This is just 25. And square root of 25, this is just 5. And 1 plus 5, this is just 6. And 6 divided by 2, this is just 3. And there you go. We found the value of this expression using the shortcut method. Alright. So now, here's your task. Find the value of square root of 30 plus square root of 30 plus square root of 30 plus square root of 30 until infinity. And as always, we are done. 